How's it going boys? Johnny Superbman here bringing you our fourth installment of GM Mode Commentaries. We've had a great run so far. We've done Edmonton, New Jersey. We just finished Toronto. So it's time to move on to the next team. And you know what? In the video that I put up asking you guys to thumb up the teams. I know the thumbs up weren't working. I don't know. YouTube must have been getting all funky or something. But I came back this morning and it seemed like the thumbs up were working. I know everybody probably didn't get to vote. But what did I say? When I was going to start it up, I was going to just see it once, and then that was it. That was my decision. Uh, hang on one second here. Uh, ownership, blah, blah, blah. I just want to make sure I don't mess with the options here. So, I went back this morning. I checked it out, and one team was by far ahead of every other team, and that would be the Columbus Blue Jackets. That's right, boys. You guys want me to take over the Columbus Blue Jackets. And I'm kind of glad that I'm taking them over now, because if we started this... GM mode commentary after the trade deadline, they might not have anybody left. So, it's uh, I'm not going to say it's going to be a complete blow up just yet because I want to look at the roster. I want to see which uh, direction we can head off into. But yeah, really think with the Columbus Blue Jackets boys, it's definitely going to be a rebuilding team right from day one. So hang on a sec, let's just start this up the right way. Computer will automatically fix teams. Yeah, that's fine. We'll uh, just get everything out in the open here just to start. Like our, we'll make sure injuries are off. Uh, we'll take a look at our roster, and then we'll just go through and we'll make that one trade before the season starts to see. I think I might just want to blow up the team right from day one. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I don't want to get into that, but I might have to do that. Okay, it's New Jersey, Toronto. Time to create a new one. Columbus Blue Jackets. CBJ, baby. CBJ. We're going to have to take this team and bring them, well, not back to glory. we got to give them some glory. All right, Rick Nash, what are they? I think they've made it to the playoffs once, but that's it. That is it. And they've had Rick Nash for, what, like seven or eight years now? Yeah, they've got to get something done. So, up to general manager, superb, man. So, boys, we're in. We've started our season. Let's quickly just go down. I'll show you guys. When you when you start your season, this is how you turn off injuries. My NHL 12. Go down to settings. You can't do it when you're starting it up. Go to rules. Go down here. Injuries right there. Select it off. B button. Go back, and it should save it, all right? So, there you go. Injuries are off. We're all set. The uh, salary cap is on. All that good stuff. We got the updated rosters. I'll quickly just show you guys the updated rosters. Just to uh, show you that I'm not lying. And actually to prove to myself that the right rosters got loaded in this GM mode. Uh, we'll just simply go to the Leafs because we know that there's two players on the Leafs who got a lot better. Uh, there's Phil the Thrill. Look at his trade value now. And we'll look at his overall. 90 overall. Okay, so we're using the new updated rosters, boys. Just proven to you right there. All right. Oh, man, I'd love to be the GM of the Leafs now. Look at Kessel, and now look at Lupel. 87 overall. Good God. He was like the same as Kessel was. Oh, my God. They're, they're going to be a good team in this one. The Leafs got to watch out for them. But we're not the Leafs. We're the Columbus Blue Jackets. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to get familiar with the team. What did I say in the uh, the rules? I kind of skipped two. I didn't skip it, but... I, uh, I simulated too fast without diving into the stats, without diving into the rosters for the NHL and AHL team. So that's really what I want to do now. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get a few videos out today because it's the first uh, it's the first one of the Columbus Blue Jackets. I want to make sure that we can, it might take a while to go through all the stats. So I think for today you guys might get more than just two videos. I think, don't hold me to that, but I really want to get uh, the roster sorted out. And it's going to take a while. And I want to show you guys all the players that we have get you guys more involved so on the center position we got Jeff Carter he's our top center let's see this guy he's 26 years old on paper he's a great he's a great sniper he's a great player to have he's not bad defensively uh, he would be kind of a perfect second line center or maybe even a third line center but the problem with this guy is 5.2 for the next 11 years all right and if we're gonna blow up he's a guy that we can trade at the trade deadline and get a lot back for so I like that Antoine Vermette, we all know him from the Toronto Maple Leafs, 29 years old. Uh, on paper, again, this is the thing. Columbus Blue Jackets came in on paper at the beginning of the season, actually expected to do something good. but And by something good, I mean, you know, kind of edging their way to a playoff position, not the bottom of the barrel from, like, the second month on. And that's what they've been like. Uh, Antoine Vermette's a great player. Again, I could get a lot back for him as well. Uh, Derek Broussard, this is one guy I might want to hold on to just for a few years. He's 23 years old. Um, his trade value is going to go up, so if I'm going to trade him, I want to trade him in year three or four, you know what I mean? He'll be he'll be worth more. Uh, so somebody I might want to hold on to, Derek Broussard, not bad. He's got not bad potential either. Uh, Samuel Paulson, this guy is not a bad fourth-line grinder. Look at his defensive rating, uh, 83s everywhere, but he is 33 years old, so this is definitely a guy that I will be trading. 
Uh, I could probably get maybe a third or second, or maybe he can just be an add-on to a trade. The thing about Columbus, though, they really overpaid these guys. Look at this. Derek Broussard's 3.2, Paulson's 2.65. Like, these guys are considered the studs on these on their team. Uh, Vaclav Prospel. Oh, I thought it was Vinny Prospel. Vaclav Prospel. He's 36 years old. He's actually pretty good for a 36-year-old playmaker. We're definitely going to have to trade this guy away. We can get something for him. Uh, Ryan Johansson, you guys were saying. It's not Johansson, it's Johansson. Ryan Johansson, definitely got to hold on to this guy. 19 years old. Uh, playmaker, B, B minus, B minus. He's definitely a... Him and Broussard. I'm looking for the young guys, all right? Uh, him and Broussard, definitely centers I want to keep. Letestu, uh, nothing special. These guys, I'm just going to quickly look at their overall and look at their uh, potentials. If they're C's in the 70s, nothing nothing special that we have to look at. All right, so, and then the in the minors, what do we have? Derek McKenzie, 30 years old. He's a tradable asset. R Ryan Russell, 24. Not bad. Uh, nah, he's not that good. Never mind. Cody Bass, grinder, 24. I actually don't mind that. Uh, grinders, young grinders are not bad. I like young grinders, so he actually is not a bad player. Uh, Martin St. Pierre, 28 years old, he's nothing. All right, so th those are our center. So it looks like at the center position, the only two players who I'm thinking will be a part of our franchise for a few years are going to be uh, Johansson and uh, Broussard, okay? So everyone else, definitely tradable, tradable assets. Left wingers, Christian Husalius, 84 overall, 32 years old, De another tradable asset. Look, I mean, he's got a great offensive rating on paper. Again, they got a You'd think they have an okay team. It might just be their goaltending and defensive. Uh, but if he's 4.75, see, they overpay these guys. So he's definitely somebody we got to trade. RJ Umberger, 29 years old. He's a great little player. Um, might I could possibly hold on to him because, say, where you're aiming for a fourth or fifth year Stanley Cup run, you know, if we can get that good, he will be, what, 33, 34, and I could have him on the fourth line as a grinder. Because look at his defensive rating, if he doesn't get any worse. Or maybe even a third liner, if he doesn't get... He could see, like, even though he's kind of old, he's somebody who could stay. But if I get a good offer for him, yeah, definitely tradable. Colton Gillis, grinder, 22 years old, I like that. Got C potentials, though, nothing special there. Uh, Alexander Giroux, 30 years old, nothing special. Uh, Matt Calvert, 21 years old, C potentials, nothing special. Nicholas Drazenovich. <laughs> Drazenovich, Drazenovich, yes, Nicholas Drazenovich, that's a sick name, but he's got nothing special, a lot of these guys, mid-70s with C potentials, that's what they're full of, look at this again, mid-70s, C potentials, ugh, Gabriel, Oliver Gabriel, 20 years old, B minus, two B minuses, he's somebody that you could hold on to maybe, uh, Dalton Smith, oh my god, look at these guys, oy, 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 oy. right wingers, let's see, okay, Rick the Dick, now, Yes, he's a tradable asset. We all know this. But he's 27 years old. On a five-year term, he'll be 32 years old. He might be somebody we actually just hold on to. Because we can, tr you know what I mean? Like, we'll trade away everybody else first, see where we're at. And if we get a good offer for Rick, maybe. But if we're aiming for a year four, a year five Stanley Cup run, he could help us in those years. He'll only be 31, 32, our captain. All right, so I'm not going to say we're going to trade him right away. He's definitely somebody who could be part of our team and still help us. His potential is still to seize. But on the op opposite side of that, there's our timer. On the opposite side of that, he's also somebody who we can trade away and get a lot back for. So I'll let you guys comment on that. Rick Nash, I'll let you guys comment on that. Jared Bull, 25-year-old uh, grinder. I like that. I do like that. He's uh, almost an 80. Not bad. Derek Dorsett, 24-year-old grinder. Not bad. Yeah, that Bull and Dorsett guy, not bad. Low defensive awareness, but like they're grindy guys. They can put them on the one of them on the fourth line in a on a perfect team kind of thing. Right wingers, Cam Atkinson, 22 years old. Ooh, he's good. He's good. He's got some potential. So there you go. There's another guy. We got a uh, Johansson. What was the other guy? Oh, uh, Broussard. Was it Broussard? Yeah, and Atkinson. So they're not some bad uh, prospects there. Maxim Marov. Marov. He's not bad. He might turn out to be something okay. B minus potentials. Kubalik, grinder, uh, nothing special. That's it for right wingers. Defensemen. Now, here's where it gets very interesting. And yeah, this is why, okay. This is why when this simulate, they don't have the greatest team. Their best defenseman is an 83. And then it 81, 80, 80, 80, 79. Like, good God. Remember in Toronto, our second line defensive core were two 90s. All right. This guy, these guys' best defensemen are a 90, or sorry, an 83. That's probably a big reason. James Wisniewski, this guy's pretty good. This guy's definitely a tradable asset for us. Definitely a tradable asset. He's not a bad defenseman, but 
Six years left at 5.5. Well, maybe he's somebody we could hold on to, but I think we could get a lot for him, so we'll definitely look into that. Fedor Tutin. I thought it was Frederick Tutin. All right. Uh, Two-way defenseman. He's actually not that bad. 28 years old, though, but he's actually, for, uh, for 4.5 million, he is bad. He wouldn't be a bad, like, third-line defenseman if you had him at, like, you know, two, two and a half, three million even, but 4.5 as your second-best defenseman? Ugh. Might have to trade him. Mark Method. Now, this is somebody who they, I, I don't know, because, like, he's 80 overall. He's getting 3 million for the next four years. But, look, he's only 80. Oh, my God, with C potentials. That was a big waste. So, he's definitely somebody we got to try and unload. He's not a tradable asset. He's a, we got to get rid of him. A salary cut cap dump guy. Uh, Radic Martinic, 35 years old, 80. Ugh. Their defensemen are just awful. Absolutely awful. Brett Lebda. I remember him when he was on Toronto. It wasn't a bad skater, but, yeah, look, nothing. Ugh. Ugh, Columbus. Grant Klitsum. Uh, no, oh, God. Oh, all their defenders are crap, all right? I'm, I'm say, saying it right now. All their defenders are absolutely crap. So that's something we really got to work on. Wisniewski's not bad, but everybody else is crap. And we don't have any prospects yet. Hang on. Aaron Johnson, 28 Cs. Ugh. David Savard, 20. B-minus potential. It's not bad. It's nothing special. John Moore, 20. B okay, so we got a couple 20-year-olds with B-minuses in Savard and Moore. Not bad. Nick Holden, 24. Eh, not bad. Brent Regner. Eh. Cody Gull. Oh, my God. Whatever. He's not bad, actually, either, too. All right. Some B-minus potential. Dalton Prout. Eh, no. Theo Ruth. Eh. So yeah, they have a bunch of just average prospects. Nothing special. Oh, my. Anton Bloomquist. No. Steven Del Izzel. Whatever. <laughs> No, crap, oh my god. So the only real defenseman they got here was this Glubeff guy and uh, Savard and Moore. But they were B-minus potential. So, I mean, it's not like it's not like they got any superstars back there, any Adam Larsons back there or anything like that. So, defensemen, definitely, they're definitely weak. we got to look at that. And now the goaltending situation, Steve Mason, who's 23. He's 84 overall, 23 with B-minus potentials. That's actually pretty good. Um, he could turn out to be, he's kind of like the same thing James Reimer was for us. If we play him and if we get some deep playoff runs, by the time he's 28, 29, he could be around 89, 90. But I don't think we're going to have a good first three seasons. And if he doesn't have deep playoff runs, you might see him in an 84, 85 overall with C potentials. And that really wouldn't be good. So might have to trade him early so we can get something good back for him. Another good goalie, a younger goalie. But maybe not. Maybe we hold on to him and see what he turns out to be. Uh, Curtis Sanford, yeah, he's just a backup, just a backup. Do we have any young prospects in it? Mark Dekanich, 25, B-minus, eh. He's older than friggin' uh, Steve Mason, and he's worse with less with the same potential, so yeah, I don't see him becoming anything special. And Alan York, no, nothing special. So boys, for prospects, we got nobody. We got nobody. So there's our roster, we're gonna end this video right now. Um, we'll come back though and we'll uh, edit the lines and see who we can trade, see who's out there, alright? So, there's the roster boys. What are your thoughts on the Columbus Blue Jackets roster and what should I do? We got a lot of work ahead of us, oh god.